hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to be showing you seven different ways in which you can create free and easy mock-up for your design project these tools are going to involve both plugins and web tools and i'm going to make sure i'm showing you guys the less complicated tools and the ones that can allow you to get free mock-ups without having to upgrade to pro or without having to have a paid plan so without further ado let's get started and start creating some really beautiful and colorful mock-ups so here on this board are the design files we are going to be using to create the mock-up as we go through all of these tools one after the other so let's get started the very first tool on the list is going to be a plugin because i'm going to start with plugins which are the easiest way to create mock-ups for your design project and the first plugin we are going to be looking at is the mock-up plugin this is one of my favorite plugins so you're going to go to the actions button here and you're going to select the plugins and widgets on the plugins and widgets you want to search for mock-up plugin if you can't see it here you can see it here because it's a recent plugin that i used but here you want to search for mock-up plugin and once you search for it it's going to recommend it to you you can just select the mock-up plugin I'm just going to move this to the top right so that we can see the mock-up plugin right here. So here you can see a variety of mock-up templates that is available to us. But a lot of this can only be used when you upgrade to the pro version. And in order to get some of the free versions, I'm going to go to this search icon that we see here. And on the search icon, I'm going to select this free only option. So once I select it, it's going to give us all of the available templates and mock-ups that we can use for free. So I'm going to select this first one that is here and once you do that it's going to give you a template where you can add the design you want to use. I'm going to click on this plus button and here you're going to need to select a frame that is going to be used in this particular position. So I'm just going to select a random frame like this and it's going to like give you the option to crop the frame and I'm going to go ahead to crop this frame. So here you can see that it has already pasted our design into the mock-up so we can have a preview of what it looks like. You can then go ahead to paste your design in your artboard which is what we have here. I'm going to go ahead to close the mock-up tool and I'm going to just drag this to the top here. You can see the amazing design we just created in this. You can feel the background which is what I like about this and you can drag the background to below the layer of the image and you can change the background to whatever it is you like. Um, and maybe something like this or something like a dark black this is really cool guys you can just create a very beautiful mock-up just like this using the mock-up plugin if we select the mock-up plugin again you can see that you also have some variety of free mock-ups um, that you can use aside from this particular template and you can see we have some desktop mock-ups you have like a different kind of mobile phone and you have some amazing mock-up you can go ahead and try it out so we won't waste so much time on the mock-up plugin but trust me this is absolutely amazing and you can generate a really beautiful mock-up with this plugin i'm going to close this up and the next plugin we are going to be looking at here since we are currently on plugins is the adboard plugin right so the adboard plugin is also a mock-up um, plugin that allows us to generate mock-up i'm going to select this and click on actions go to the plugins menu and you can see i have the artboard mock-up plugin here if you don't have it you can go ahead to search artboard mock-up plugin and open this up so the artboard plugin works similarly to the mock-up plugin and what happens is you're going to be giving a variety of perspective of different devices but most of them are going to be locked as you're going to need to upgrade to the pro version to be able to use them but they also have a large number of free um, mock-ups like you can see here this is free the ones without the lock are definitely free i've been using the adboard mock-up for quite a while and i also need to explore other mock-up plugins but here you have different perspective that you can use like here you can see you have the laptop and the mobile perspective so i'm just going to select one of my favorites which i usually use um, which is this very simple and straightforward i'm going to select this and show you guys how it works so for the adboard plugin you're going to be given like a canvas on your screen so i'm going to select both of this and drag it here this is what you're going to be given and how you're going to create your mock-up with the adboard plugin is that you create you copy this you copy your file here i'm just going to copy this as png and i'm going to select this empty canvas that was provided to us by the adboard mock-up and paste it in it 
Once you have this, you're going to select, you're going to see that this select mockup is not active, but you need to select the frame that was provided and then render selected frame. Once you click on that, it renders this particular canvas on this mockup, this mockup device that was provided to us, just like the way you see here, which is super cool. I'm going to go ahead to close this up and then remove this particular um, template that was provided to us. Here we have this really nice PNG file, which is another really cool way of creating mockups in um, your Figma file without having to stress and open up a different tool or visit any website and all of that. I'm going to select all of this and move it to the side so we can focus on this. I am sure there are a lot of other plugins. You can go ahead and explore the plugins community to see if you have other really cool um, Figma plugins that you can recommend. If you know any particular one that you're using for free and it's really easy to use and you want to recommend to us, you can drop the comments in the comment section so that I know which plugin you're using and we can all explore this together. So next to using plugins, the Artboard mockup also have a web-based um, interface that you can create your mockups on the web. So you can see here we have the app.artboard.studio. You can go ahead to create a new project. As you can see here, once you click on create new mockup, it's going to ask us to pay. You can skip through that process or you can go ahead to upgrade to Pro if you're interested. But basically, once you enter the dashboard, you're going to see something like this and you're going to have access to some free mockups. I'm just going to go ahead and search for free and see if we get any luck with any free item. I'm basically thinking this free mockup here is free, so I'm going to select this. So once the ad board is successfully loaded, what you want to do is to select a single frame because each of these frames represents a mockup here respectively as you can see here. So I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to open up this layers panel. You can see the iPhone 15 Pro right here. I'm going to click on image layer. Then here I'm going to come to change the image that we are using. I'm going to upload and replace and I'm going to select an image from my computer. I'm going to open this up and it's just going to load up and replace whatever image is here with the image we've selected and it's going to reflect on our canvas or on our mock-up which is super cool. I'm going to select the next one and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to upload and replace. I'm going to select one of these images and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to select the third one and do the same thing. Upload and replace and I'm going to open it up. So once you have this, um, this is really easy to create. Once you have this, I'm going to close this up. So after you've successfully created your mock-up, you want to select this mock-up, which is the iPhone 15 Pro mock-up, and click on export at the top right corner here. You can pick a format and a resolution that you like, and then click export. Of course, it's going to also remind you again to upgrade um, to export high resolution images. But that won't be a big deal. I'm just going to ignore that by clicking out on the screen, and it's going to allow us save this particular um, design or this particular mock-up on our device. As you can see here, I was able to download it. So guys, so far we've looked at the mock-up plugin, we've looked at the AdBot Studio plugin, we've also looked at the AdBot Studio web application. The next I want to show you guys is another really cool application I use, which is the Jitters. The Jitter.video is a really cool animation software and it does more than providing mockups for you. You can also be able to do motion graphics and animate icons and do a lot of really cool stuff that you won't be able to do in Figma with Jitters. So here quickly I'm going to go to the template section and I want to go to devices. So on devices you're going to see some of these really cool animation for your devices and really cool mockups. I'm just going to select this particular three mobile screen here and you can see here it's asking us to duplicate our file. So I'm just going to duplicate so that we can have the ability to edit it. So I'm going to click on duplicate to edit and here you can see the file has been successfully duplicated. Here you can see this is a timeline to animate our screen and I'm just going to move it to where we have all of these three images. And I'm going to switch from the animate panel down to the design panel. Select the first image and I'm going to open it up, select the design here, and then click on replace media. I'm going to click on the image we are using for our media. I'm going to select the next one, open the layers up, click on the image itself, then select replace image, um, click on this, um, click on the last one, select the design, 
and replace the image. So this is super cool because it doesn't just give us a regular mock-up, it gives us an animated screen. So you can go to the animate section and go ahead to play your designs and click on start. You can see how beautifully transitioned this looks. You can see the beautiful animation in this and once you're done with your animation, you can go ahead to export this. Of course, as usual, if you're going to export in a really high quality, you will need to upgrade to the pro version, but I'm just going to export using this video 720 pixel. So you can see that it's currently generating our downloadable file and once it's done, you'll be able to download your video onto your device. So we are here, we are done. I'm just going to click on this very large download button and you can go ahead to start downloading your file and you can see that it's a really low um, file size which is 2.6 MB. This is super cool. I love using the Jitter app and I'll advise you to try it out if you have animated screens that you want to animate. So the next tool that helps us create amazing mockups is the BrandBed tool. The BrandBed.app is an amazing tool that helps us create mockups. I really love this cool animation and transition here. Maybe in future I'm going to create a similar design like this. So I'm just going to click on get started so that I can get started easily. And here I'm going to select this particular desktop frame and I'm going to open it up and it's going to open up an environment where we can start editing, which is super cool. Here you can see that we have some access to some editable properties like the templates. We can change the template, but some of these templates or most of the templates here are paid. So you're going to require to upgrade to Pro to be able to use some of this template. If you switch to the images, you're going to see some properties that you can make changes to, even the background. You can make changes to the background. You can change the background to a different color palette and you can go to the mock-up. You can also change the mock-up style. So for the mock-up style, you have access to some free mock-up styles and some of the mock-up style you definitely need to upgrade to a Pro version in short, most of the mock-up style. So I'm going to select this modern browser just for this uh, design and I'm going to close this up. So let's say this is okay, we are satisfied with this and we want to export. Here we have the watermark. If you try to remove the watermark from here, if you go to watermark, you're going to see that it's a pro um, feature which most applications offer. But I think I like the design just like this, so I want to export it. You might need to sign up before you can export your design. but. Anyways, we are going to click on the export tool to export our design and we are going to export and download the PNG version. We are just going to wait for this to download our file and save on our machine and I'm going to save this up. So this is another really cool tool you can use to create mockups, but most of its features are paid feature. So this is BrandBed guys and this is a really cool um, web application you can use to create mockups. Another really cool tool is the Design Stripe. The Design Stripe is a really cool tool and it's a very colorful mock-up generation tool. If you select here, you can see how colorful this is. I'm just going to select the free version because most of this tool offers a limited number of mock-ups for the free version and then you have to upgrade to Pro. So I'm going to select this iPhone 14 on Busy Isometric Desk for the free mock-up and let's play around with it and see how much we can edit on this particular mock-up. So here on this mock-up, there's a few things we can change which is super cool about the design stripe. You can see here we have a color palette and we can select this color palette and try to change the colors in this particular design a little bit more. You can see if I change the color palette, you can see that some of the items on this mock-up is also being changed which is super cool. If you have a particular design theme, you can change the items or the assets in the environments of your mock-up so that it matches the theme of your design. So for the design, you're just going to select this particular page here and you're going to see that it gives us the ability to change the image in it. I'm going to select um, this one here and I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to continue. It's definitely going to replace um, the mock-up with the image we've selected. After you've done this, all you need to do is to download your mock-up and then you can choose between um, the file size you want and if you want to download a PNG or a JPEG and then I'm going to go ahead to download this. I'm going to save this and this is it. This is how you can also generate a free mock-up using Design Stripe. So guys, this is like some amazing mock-ups that I have created using some of these tools that I just showed you guys. And if you find some of this mock-up really interesting, you can go ahead to check out these tools and start creating amazing mock-up for your UI design project. 
Thank you so much for watching and sticking to the end of this video. So if you have any other mock-up tool that you find really interesting and you would like to share with people, please leave a comment in the comment section. I would also like to learn from you as I also want to improve my mock-up presentation game. So please do well to drop a comment if you find any tool that is really helpful that was not mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. And bye for now and I'm going to see you guys in my next video.